math, I need you to open your books to lesson 73, which is on page 145. 145. All right, so we're going to start with some story problems. Listen closely. Oh, we have a member of our class in the story problem. Number 1A. Oh, no, that I was thinking it was a name, but it's not. It is your name, but it's not used appropriately. The Christian bookstore, so, so it's your bookstore, Christian, sold 68 books on Monday. 79 books on Tuesday, and 65 books on Wednesday. How many books in all were sold on those three days? What is the clue that you should tell you what you are going to be doing in the story problem? Tessa. So you should be doing what kind of math? Yes. And then when you are writing your answer, in the story problem, what should be included in that? Machine? Books, yes. How many books in all were sold? And make sure you do your workspace as well. Yes, McKenna? Gotcha. So you may work now on the story problem. No, not raising your hand? Okay. <laughs> you couldn't tell. <laughs> Let me see if I got a message from your mom yet. Gabe, your book, your coat will be delivered before noon. Sorry, I was just answering parents' email. So, all right, so what is the answer? McKenna. 147 books. Not quite correct. Boy. 200. 200 what? Three. Three, that is not correct either. Owen. 202 books. 202 books is the correct answer. So McKenna and boy, it is 202, okay? So you have to add those all up carefully. All right, Jessica is making a necklace. She has 24 turquoise beads, 18 silver beads, and 15 quartz beads, how pretty. How many beads does she have all together? What is your clue here? Christian. Very good. So what does that tell you, Christian, that you should be doing as far as mathematical equation? Addition. Yes, very good. And what should be in the answer for the story problem? Jeremiah. Yes. I think it's going to be pretty natural. 
I do too. It sounds very pretty. I love turquoise. Mm -hmm. All right, Gabe, how many? 57 is correct, very good. All right, please have markers ready if you would like to do some board work. Oh, I need to get rid of this. Everybody has homework done, right? Yeah, yeah. My virtual friends, homework is 15 minutes of multiplication facts. So 15 minutes of multiplication facts. I'm going to get this arranged so you can see. If I can get the top off of my marker, it would be lovely. There we go. Kenna and Jeremiah, come on down. Beautiful. Nice. Beautifully done. Good job, McKenna. Can you all see that? Okay. Beautiful. Very, very good. So I'm hoping you're all following along in your books. Good. So, any questions? All right. Good job, friends. Good job, McKenna and Jeremiah. Nicely done. You guys are becoming whizzes at long division. It is fun. And it is something that you need to practice. Honestly, I mean, the more you do it, it becomes easier and easier, but it's just a matter of getting the steps down. And once you get that down, it's very, it's fun. You guys have come a long way. All 
Can you say that number? Owen. 100,000. Oh, say it again. 106,735. Beautiful. Make sure you write a little bigger because you're writing so small that you're gonna need, I need a magnifying glass. <laughs> so they can see it in the back. <laughs> home doesn't mess around. Go big or go home. Here we go. Any questions? Very well done, Owen and Helen. Any questions? Concerns? Yep. Nothing's freaking you out? That's a small writing. Yeah, we went from giant to baby writing. Back to giant and then finished with giant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jonathan and Christian. Can you, uh, uh, Jonathan, can you do that? Can you take nine from... What is that number? How do you say that? So that is not correct. So you need to come back. You need to reevaluate the two. All right, so can you take nine and this was not going to work, right? Nine, you can't take nine from nine. So what do you have to do? We have to borrow. That last number is six. Yeah. All right. And how would you say that? There you go. Good job. Okay. So then the nine is going to turn. So you borrowed from the six. So then you have to go. You have to go through the steps. Because you can't take zero from zero either, correct? Right, there you go. And then a nine turns into what? There you go. There you go. Good job. That's a tricky one. You had to borrow from this. So that did was 19, but then what did it have to turn in? Because you borrowed for that, right? So what is that? Is that still 19, or does that turn into what? So you borrowed, 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 borrowed. So this is 11. And this turns into what? 18? Because you borrowed here for this, correct? Yeah. 
this turned into six, so this is eliminated, correct? Do you have too many numbers here? So, when we look at that, technically there should only be three numbers, because we're talking about these three spaces. This space got eliminated. There's no longer here. So, we need a number here, we need a number here, and we need a number here. So we're talking three values, correct? So what is 11 minus 8? Mm -hmm. What is 18 minus 9? Okay. And then what is 9 minus 0? Yes, there you go, bravo, way to stick with it. Good job, bud. See, that is the thing you have to remember, friends, when we are doing all this borrowing, it gets really confusing. So what I would suggest, if it helps, to put the lines through here so you are adding and subtracting and getting the right amount of digits, okay? Yes, Owen. It is 993. So 993. That was a tricky one. Good job. Thank you for sticking with it. All right. All of that borrowing, it's exhausting. All right, two more, and then we're going to do some a fun little mathematical experiment. So this answer, you have to make sure you include something in the answer. Grant and who has not gone? Somebody who has not gone yet. Adam, yeah, you haven't gone yet? Go ahead. sure the decimal point and something is included with this because we're dealing with dollars. Nope. We are dealing with dollars and Grant, you need to recheck. The two is not correct. And how would you say that number? There you go. <laughs> Good job. So five times two is ten. Okay, that five times four is five times nine is Good job. Thank you, friends, for sticking with it. I so appreciate that. I'm glad that you don't get upset because there's no reason to get upset. That's how we learn. That's how we learn, friends. If you just got up here and did everything without having any trouble, then I might as well just go home and take a nap. All right? So 
Thank you for working through the problems. Thank you for getting up here in front of the whole class and working out the problems. Thank you for being brave and being comfortable to do that. I am so happy that you are. All right. Now, symmetry. We are going to start a new concept. Yay! Who knows what symmetry means? Symmetry. Well, let me show, show you. Okay. Well, all right, Emma. Yeah. So, if I were to fold, I don't know if you can see this. Is this symmetrical? No. 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 Hmm. Let's see. Let me try it again. Hmm. How about this? Surely this is symmetrical. No. Hmm. But why is it not? Why is this not symmetrical? Machine. Oh. So you want even. <laughs> How about this? Yeah. This line. Yeah. Ignore these other two. Is this the line of symmetry? Yeah. It is because it divides this in half into two equal halves. That is the key to something being symmetrical. Divided in equal parts. That is symmetry. So if we look on page 146, we have a triangle, an orange, a butterfly, and a heart. Can you divide those symmetrically? Let, us, let me see how you would do that. right down the middle of the triangle, right down the middle of the orange, right down the middle of the butterfly, and right down the middle of the heart. So very good. Let's move to five. Number each box in order from least to greatest. Peck, gallon, bushel, pint, quart. What is the smallest measurement in that grouping? Jeremiah. Pint? Yes. What is the second? M. Four. Yes. What would three be? Would Sheen? Mm -mm. Cole. Yeah. Yes. What would four be? What is bigger or smaller, a peck or a bushel? Jeremiah. Yes, a peck. And then process of elimination. Oh, what is the largest? A bushel. Woohoo! All right. So this should be easy. So in this grouping in B, measurements of time, what is the shortest measurement of time? Helen. Second. 
Yes. What would come next? Gabe. Yes. And what would be third? Grant. Yeah, a minute was already said. What would? Look again. Yes, very good. And what would be after our? Jonathan, uh, write this down and put your mask up, please. Day, yes. After day, what would come next? Caroline. Week. Yes. After week. I feel like we're... McKenna. Year. Um, no. After week, there's one more before year. McKenna. Um, month. Yes, month. And then what is the last one? Year. Very good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Chinese New Year. All right, yes. Now we have three in the next increments of measurement. So what is the smallest, the ounce, the ton, or the pound? Grayson. Yes. Then comes what, boy? Pound. Yes, very good. And then what is last? Ton. Very good. All right, so you can work on this last. You circle, circle the in, correct, and then write the correct product. product. So you have to determine if it's correct. If it's not correct, circle it and put in the right answer. All right, that will conclude our math.